everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title today, I'm going to do my February bullet journal setup. So if you haven't seen my January one and the 2021 setup as well, make sure you check it out. I'm gonna link it down below and up in the iCard um, so you can check it out. So this month I decided to do a jigsaw puzzle theme and I always wanna do like some different colors because you just get used to the colour normally and like the theme and stuff so it's quite nice to like change it up a little bit so when I film on this intro I already done my bullet journals so I think it turned out quite nice um so yeah so if you're interested on this video make sure you keep on watching okay so here we are again another month another setup so as I said I decided to do the jigsaw puzzle theme this time all I use today is some pens black and red colors as well so I, I try to not use too many colors this time so it's only two colors and different shade of reds as well so first <laughs> I messed it up straight away at the beginning as you can see so first I just used my black fine liner um, I wanted to do like a different pattern of each jigsaw puzzle so I decided to stay with the red color because february is obviously like valentine's day i didn't really want to do like hearts and things like that because that's just like a, a typical theme everyone's doing in uh, february so i tried to like switch it up a little bit and i chose the jigsaw puzzle because obviously love and relationships and everything like you have to stick together sort of thing so i thought it kind of like fits the the whole valentine's day month basically um so as i said in my last video that i'm going to kind of try to stick around with the same sort of um way i do my front pages so basically i did the big f for february As you can see, my camera is shaking so much and I have no idea what I did or, or why it does it, does it. Like the last two videos I did, it wasn't really like that. And for some reason in this video, um, it's just very shaky and it's obviously the way I'm like coloring and everything. It just makes the camera stand or my tripod shake around a little bit. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so as you can see on the bottom, um, I started with the colors so that um, glittery something is a red color as well we've got a little bit of glitter in it but it comes like across really weird on camera this theme literally took me forever so I tried to speed it up for you as much as I can and also I cut out little bits which I don't I don't really think that you really need to see so it just make still makes sense as I cut it together hopefully so yeah, it was a lot of colouring this time. Um, in the last two months, I did the water paints. That was a little bit faster than colouring in every single little thing, but I, I really enjoyed it. So what you're watching now is basically <laughs> six hours of footage I cut into about 10 to 15 minutes, which I'm very proud of that I managed to do that. Um, yeah, this is the normal speed, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so this is the front page. Um, I cut off the edges for each month. So this is what I did in January as well. So I decided to obviously do the same thing. Try to keep that little front page <laughs> the same as the other one. And I went around the edge with black and red just to see where the end of the paper is. It's a little bit easier to, to notice. Um, and then that's, that's my front page. So we're moving on to the second double page, which is going to be my calendar. So I did the same with the edges, went around all the way. Okay, and then I started with my black liner. I changed my pen there because the, my fine liner was just like really not working properly. So I went to a normal black pen. And I decided to do for this month, obviously, because of the puzzle, jigsaw puzzle, that I'm going to do the same. So it's literally the every day is a different puzzle. 
and this is where I normally write my working hours as I said to you like the last video as well um, I decided to do a monthly focus little bit on the bottom which you can see at the moment um, and important dates on the other side and also there's like one little puzzle where I normally put my YouTube subscribers and then I put the days of the or the letters of the days on the top and then the numbers on each one little puzzle in the bottom then I decided to stay with the big black book letters so I'm filling that in and I wasn't sure like what else to do like how to put in any more color in this page so I just decided to do this but you can see right now <laughs> it was pretty fun to do to be honest it's quite satisfying to watch it in speed as well um, then I moved on to my next double page which is my mood tracker and my habit tracker so this habit tracker side I find out that it's so much easier for me to start on the right side because I'm left-handed so it just normally if I start on the left side and and move to my right I just smudge everything because I pull in my arm across the lettering and the, the pen and everything so I like to start from the right side and moving on to the left just so it's a little bit cleaner um yeah so this habit page it was just taking me so long because you're going to see in a second that what I decided to do but basically I am going to track six habits which I didn't actually decide yet what I'm going to do because I normally do the same thing but sometimes I like to switch it up a little bit obviously depending on what I'm doing in the month and like how my life is going so I haven't actually written in what I'm gonna track um but yeah it's gonna be six habits and then I just color in every little square basically whenever I completed the task or I didn't it helps me keep on track with things so it's, it's actually pretty good I think and as you can see I decided to do <laughs> the same thing in the background um I didn't do patterns this time I just colored it in with the different colors but it was painful enough just to <laughs> doing that to be honest um and I think it looks really cool because the the little trackers just pop out so much because the background is quite dark um so I don't know what I'm gonna do I might just do like a little dot in the middle like a little um polka dot in the middle of each like little um square um because I don't want it to be really dark and blending too much so I think I'm gonna if I don't do the task I'm just gonna leave it white um and then I just do a little polka dot in the middle once I've done it um, okay, so that's the background done and then I moved on to the lettering and I colored that in as well Here we are now we're moving on to my mood tracker so with my mood tracker um i did all the little puzzle jigsaw puzzles for each day and i'm going to color in obviously what mood i'm gonna have every day um, <laughs> this is literally the right speed <laughs> just so you can see um yeah so i decided to like um do this little cute hedgehog on this page and if you know me that I, I do have a pet hedgehog so <laughs> yeah I think it's just super cute I love hedgehogs and um, my hedgehog is literally the cutest thing ever it's like a tiny dog just easier to look after <laughs> but it, they got so much personality and they're just really funny um, so yeah so this little hedgehog is playing puzzles um, yeah so I did the big bulky black letters again and then I just written like tracker and there a little bit nicer lettering um, and then I do three moods for one color as I did in the other uh, month theme as well just to keep it simple so it's got like a little bit lighter red darker red and brown and that's we're done with this page then moving on to my next one which is my dream tracker and my gratitude page um, so as I said I start on the right again um, I did some jigsaws on the right corner and then I written down the days of the month 
um, and that basically I just like to write down like at least one thing of my day, like what I'm grateful for, because I think it's very important to to just live in the moment and be grateful for what you have, because we like to complain too much, to be honest, and we forget what we actually have. So I think it's a really good thing to do. Then I always write down my dreams. So as you can see, I'm doing the title for that page now. And then I went in with the patterns again. So there we go. Now we're going with the stripes. And this was taking me again so long. And then now we move to the first weekly setup. Um, so I found this easier to just like go down in the lines, finish all jigsaw lines and then all sides and then basically just move into horizontal as well. So I did that. I did a little block of jigsaws in the middle and the other ones, those loose puzzles are basically where I'm going to write the days of the, the week. Um, and then yeah just have a little section for each day i normally write down my tasks for this weekly setup um what i need to do in a day like important things and i don't know like little notes what i really think i need to be written down So I accidentally um, put a pattern on Tuesday and Thursday. I wanted to leave all of the day's um, puzzles empty, but yeah, it's fine. And here we are. We're done with the whole month of setup. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked the theme. If you did, make sure you let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Um, feel free to share, like, and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.